In this topic, we are going to discuss about another issue of staff selection and we are going to discuss that from the basis of data that is available to us that uh, the profile of the expatriate is generally uh, uh, inclined towards certain type of uh, categories. So, uh, looking at the profile of an expatriate, uh, we find that uh, uh, the combination of different uh, variables uh, or different demographic uh, characteristics of the expatriates who are working in, uh, in the, all over the globe, um, they are according to different criteria. Number one, uh, from the type of uh, um, nationality. So number one, uh, PCNs are 44% of the expatriates. Ho um, HCNs, host country nationals, are 29% of the expatriates working in the entire world. And third country nationals are only 27%. So we see that there is a tendency and there is a tradition of hiring parent country nationals for expatriate assignments. And generally, like uh, around 50% uh, of the people who are hired as expatriates are parent country nationals. So uh, when we talk about the regiocentric or geocentric approaches, they are not that much apparent in the statistics that people from all over the world are hired in the multinationals. Now, the second criteria, the gender criteria, you can see that 77% of expatriate assignments are um, taken up by um, male uh, staff and females are only 23%. So, that is like uh, almost uh, more than uh, three-fourth, uh, more than three-quarter of the population of expatriate managers is uh, men. So, that means that women are not sent for expatriate assignments as much as men are sent for that. Uh, then uh, now when you look at the age, um, in this survey, it was found that 66% of people, they belong to the 30 to 49 years of category. So people in their mid-career, uh, which means they are middle-level managers, they are sent for expatriate assignments. And uh, people from 20 to 29 years of category, there are only 16% expatriates who are working in that particular category. Uh, then if you see that what is the, uh, on, on marital status, 61% of the people are married, 28% are single, and 11% they live with a partner. So uh, generally, one thinks that people who are more mobile, who go for um, international assignments would be uh, single or uh, not married and not committed to somebody but from the data it is quite apparent that 61% of the people are married so uh, generally who people who are settled and uh, they have a spouse they are sent on an international assignment and that is again uh, uh, th that is again enhanced by the information of the next category that whether they are accompanied so, 81% of the people who are sent on international assignment are accompanied by the spouse. So, their, their spouses, whether it's the wife or the husband, 81% of them, they go with them wherever they are sent on the international assignment. And 52% of the people are accompanied by children as well. So, uh, when we talk about expatriate management and their relocation and the um, investment and uh, effort that needs to be taken in order to adjust their families. It is not something which is of a minute value or a few number of people, they take their spouses and children alongside. Uh, a majority of people take their spouses and children along with them on expatriate assignments. So the adjustment and uh, the relocation of the entire families is an important aspect of expatriate management in international uh, human resource management. Now, if we look at the next criteria, that is the duration. And from this uh, information, we find that 53% of the positions are, um, they, uh, they are for one to three years. So uh, towards the 
uh, um, towards the traditional type of expatriate positions and short term are only 27 percent and uh, when we look at uh, what is the reason for sending somebody to an expatriate assignment uh, then the first and primary reason for sending someone for an international assignment is to fill a position uh, so um, uh, we discussed it in previous uh, topics as well that filling a position uh, is still the most important reason to send somebody on international assignment and because people are not available for filling that uh, particular gap uh, people are sent for filling that particular position so from this profile of an expatriate we can see that there is a lot of inclination towards one or uh, to one uh, towards one um, category uh, for example there are more males there are more uh, parent country nationals uh, people are accompanied by spouses duration is generally a uh, longer term uh, assignment so accordingly uh, the selection and recruitment and selection has to be done uh, according to this kind of profile of the expatriate uh, people who are working in different international locations so we can get guidance from this kind of a, an expatriate profile that what kind of people will be hired or may be hired for positions that are that come up in an international scenario